Hello, I'm Liz from Florida Center for Inclusive Communities and along with some of my fellow Floridians with disabilities, we are pleased to present the What You Should Know Show, the COVID-19 edition. So what is COVID-19? It is a virus, like a very bad flu, and it can spread quickly and infect others. It spreads through the air and it can be deadly. Over 900,000 Americans have already died from COVID-19. COVID-19 is a pandemic, meaning that it is an ongoing health crisis that continues to affect the whole world. COVID-19 can keep changing too, these are called variants, and you may have heard of the Delta variant, and more recently, the Omicron variant. What are the symptoms of COVID-19? People may experience COVID-19 very differently. Some people will get a nasty cough and a sore throat. Some may find it hard to breathe. Others may have a fever or chills. Some get very bad headaches. Some feel very tired and have aches and pains. Some may get an upset stomach or diarrhea. And some may not taste or smell the things that they normally can. Why are people with disabilities at risk? Hi, I'm Eddie. People with disabilities like me can be at greater risk for having COVID-19. We often have several existing health issues that might increase our risk. Our living situations and personal care supports may require close contact with others to help our daily activities. It might also be difficult for some of us to wear a mask too. For me, wearing a mask is common sense. We should do it to take care of each other. How can we help prevent getting and spreading COVID-19? Hi, I'm Gabby. You can help as Eddie just said, by wearing a mask, make sure it covers your nose, staying six feet apart, avoiding crowds, especially indoors, washing your hands frequently, sanitizing your wheelchair, and getting vaccinated. Remember, boost your protection and get the injection. Hi, I'm Amanda. I have a skin condition that makes wearing a mask a little uncomfortable, but it's important to protect myself and others, and now I'm used to it. I've been exposed to COVID-19 several times already, and so far I haven't gotten it because I'm vaccinated. I was truly terrified when the pandemic began, but not now. I can go out with my friends and enjoy life again. I'm Tatiqua, and I was born with asthma, and I still wear a mask to be safe. I was scared to go outside, and I was scared of being alone and sit in the hospital. But I got vaccinated, and now I can live life again. Still a little unsure about vaccinations? Then check out the What You Should Know Show Vaccination Edition. For more information, the Disability Information and Access Line gives information about how to access the COVID-19 vaccine for people with disabilities. Call 888-677-1199 from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Time or email dial at usagingandisability.org. For this and other COVID-19 resources, don't forget to check out our website. Please don't wait, vaccinate. <laughs>